Look at all those trees. Come on, Andrew. Help us pick one out. Howdy, folks. What kind of Christmas tree are we looking for? Well, let's see what you got, Jim. Got some beautiful pies and colors this year. Huh? Whoa! It's okay, you can pet them. They're free husky pups. Cool. Oh, he likes you. Oh, this one just loves the sound of bells ringing and jingling. Hey, boy. Your name should be Jingle. Jingle, you're a good dog. Why are you giving him away? He's part of my husky's new litter, but I'm moving away. Can't take all these rascals with me. Gotta find families for them. Andrew! Time to go. Oh, there you are. Mom, can we take him home? <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Not just now. Pretty please? Come on, Munchkin. We've got a beautiful tree to get back home. <laughs> Sorry, Jingle. I've gotta go home. <laughs> He wants to come with us. Not today. We can talk about getting a dog another time, okay? But, Mom... Andrew, another time. Another time when? Someday. I hope someday comes soon. Mrs. Hibbert. Hot cocoa? Mm -hmm. Don't mind if I do. Stay, you little rascals. I'll be right back. Now, Jingle was a good dog. He always did what he was told. Well, almost always. Jingle followed the red bird and followed and followed until something else happened to catch his eye. Jingle looked, but couldn't find the little red bird. And the little red bird couldn't find Jingle. Pretty soon, Jingle realized he didn't know where he was. The pup was lost and tired. As Jingle settled down inside his hiding place, he felt safer, but very lonely. The next morning, the husky pup was awakened by a wonderful sound, and he found the little red bird. That made Jingle very happy.
he raced off to find where the chiming bell was coming from. <laughs> Jingle had never seen anything so wonderful before. Everywhere he looked, everyone in Pineville was getting ready for Christmas. Jingle saw the other dog and wondered if this might be a new friend. But not everyone in Pineville was friendly to dogs. Come on, Mr. Doggy. Jingle again heard a bell ringing and followed the sound. Have you written your letter to Santa yet? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for, silly? <laughs> Forces. Forces cause changes in speed and direction of objects in motion. The greater the force of an object... Sarah? The greater the change in motion. Very good. And the larger an object is, the less effect a given force will have upon the motion of that object. Jingle! 1867, the first patent for a two-piece clamping system known today as the... 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 6 equals 36. 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 8 equals 48. <laughs> At well over 4,000 years old, ancient China was one of the earliest centers of human civilization. This day is taking 4,000 years. <sighs> Don't forget to turn in your essays tomorrow. Andrew, it's your turn to clean the blackboard today. Awesome dog. Go on, fetch. Here, Fluffy. Who's a good boy? Wow, he really likes you. Is he your dog? No, Jingle belongs to this lady in a farmhouse down the road. I wish he was mine. Good boy, Jingle. Jingle, you're a good dog. Andrew! Just a minute, Mom. Sorry, Jingle. I've got to go home. What a cute puppy. Did you see? That was Jingle. Jingle? The husky pup we saw near the tree farm. Oh, that can't be the same dog, can it? Jingle. Woof, woof. That's him, all right. Mom, is it someday yet? Not just yet, Andrew. Come on, time to go! Yay, let's go! <laughs> Bye, Jingle. Bye, pup. I've got to leave, too. Sorry, me too. Go home, silly dog. Jingle, you've got to go home. <laughs> Go 
Go home, silly dog. Jingle, you've got to go home. Jingle thought about that and decided to go home. But the kindly old lady had already moved away. Jingle realized he didn't have a home. So Jingle headed back towards Pineville. Santa Claus, and I would like a chemistry set for Christmas. <laughs> Have you now? Jingle was exhausted from his latest adventure. But then, something wonderful happened. <laughs> Jingle! <laughs> Jingle felt very happy. I gotta say, I just love little birds. There you go, my friend. <laughs> Look at that. I think he's going to be fine. Jingle's gone. Was that your doggy? No. He belongs to that nice old lady who lives near the tree farm. You mean Mrs. Hibbert? She moved already. She did? Yep. Oh. That must be the puppy that ran away. Ran away? Oh no! Jingle has no home! We've got to find him! Jingle! 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 Andrew had searched everywhere, but there was no sign of Jingle. Oh. 
school. Finally, the last school day before Christmas had arrived. Andrew, please try not to be sad. Thanks, Sarah. Merry Christmas. I haven't seen him. The next day, Jingle was feeling safe enough to come out from hiding. He couldn't stop thinking about Andrew. Hey, boy! Your name should be Jingle. Jingle, you're a good dog. The very thought of finding his friend made Jingle want to sing. <laughs> He waited and he waited all day for the school bell, but it never rang. Dear Santa, the only thing I want for Christmas is for you to find Jingle a good home. It would make me very happy just to know that he is safe. Yours truly, Andrew. Jingle was terribly confused. Where were all the people? He didn't understand that everyone had already gone home for Christmas Eve. we here? Someone all alone? At Christmas? What? What's that you say? Ho ho ho! What a wonderful idea! What an excellent idea! Last, Christmas morning had arrived. dog had found each other. Now, the best of friends. Now that is a nice tie. Jingle, stay. And Jingle did. 